This is the mayor's report for the city of Battle Creek, Michigan. This is the mayor of Battle Creek, Mark Banky. Good morning, and it is a cold day and a cold Saturday in Battle Creek. The next city commission meeting will be held on Tuesday, February 7th at 7 p.m. at City Hall, downtown Battle Creek, 10 North Division Street, third floor commission chambers. We welcome you to come down and participate in our meeting. Um, there will be two opportunities for public comment at the beginning and at the end of the meeting. Thank you for attending. If you do make it, if you can't, Access Vision and our YouTube channel will carry it live. State of the community. At the end of January, local government leaders in Cowan County gathered for the annual State of the Community event. I joined representatives from Cowan County and the cities of Albion, Marshall, and Springfield to celebrate successes from 2022 and share all the great programs, projects, and services planned for 2023. This promises to be an exciting year in our county. If you are not able to join the event live, please check out the replay on the City of Battle Creek YouTube channel. It runs about 90 minutes. Access Vision will also broadcast a replay of the event. Watch at 4.30 Wednesday, February 8th, 2.30 Saturday, February 18th, or 1 p.m. Sunday, February 26th. It will wear air on channel 17 and 917, channel 100 on AT&T, and will live stream on the website accessvision.tv under the Live 17 tab. Viewers submitted about a dozen questions to local leaders that we are working to answer. Viewers will be able to review the responses via links included in the recorded video. BC Go. As I've been sharing in previous reports, due to staffing shortages, Battle Creek Transit has had to reduce service levels. Reductions have also impacted our BC Go service. Even with the changes, BC Go remains an important mobility management tool to help make public transportation as efficient and as effective as possible. This is a reminder that while limited, bookings can be made via BC Go app or by calling Battle Creek Transit at 269 966-3474. Users must have a reservation in order to board the vehicle. Vehicle drivers will not pick up passengers hailing vehicles or passengers who have not booked a trip in advance under any circumstance. Upcoming community events. Please plan to attend the Q the Creek Barbecue Festival this evening, backed by popular demand from 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. in Kellogg Arena. The entry fee is just $5 to get there early. This will be sold out and uh, a very popular event. I want to thank John Hart and his staff, along with Ted Deering, for their leadership in bringing this special event back to Battle Creek. For tickets and more information, go to cuethecreek.com. I also want to thank those special individuals that are judging uh, for the best food and other categories. I want to thank them for participating in this event. Kellogg Community College is hosting a biannual art show. The exhibit opened on January 17th and will be on display at the DeVry Gallery of the Davison Visual Art and Performing Arts Center on campus at 450 North Avenue in Battle Creek until, December, uh, until February 9th. The exhibition is free and open to the public during regular gallery hours from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Mondays, Thursdays, and Fridays, 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. Wednesdays and Thursdays. And from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. on February 10th, the Battle Creek Area Chamber of Commerce will host a Battle of the Boards Challenge at Squirrel Hollow, Hollow Golf Course. It covers $20 to enter the challenge as a contestant. The event will be free to the public. There will be hors d'oeuvres, a cash bar, and you can participate in the board auction. Take home one of the delectable boards. Please call Kara Beer at 269-962-4076 for more information. Cooking with Chef John this month includes Chef John preparing a special Valentine's Day snack at Willard Library on February 14th. Join Chef Don John each month as he demonstrates how to make healthy snacks and foods. Be sure to bring your appetite. On February 19th, the Southwest Michigan Urban League will host a special event uh, facing the rising sun at 3 p.m. at Second Missionary Baptist Church, 485 North Washington Avenue in Battle Creek. There will be African history, songs, and dancing featuring the Afro-Colombian community, the Congo community, the Nigerian community, and the African-American community. 
on Tuesday, March 14th from 8, 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. at the W.K. Kellogg Auditorium, the Battle Creek College Access Network is hosting an event for community volunteers willing to assist and accompany students as they visit local businesses. Lunch is provided and training orientation is available. We'd like to close with a couple of special announcements. First of all, there's a proclamation. February is Black History Month, and I'd like to share the proclamation we prepared. Whereas during Black History Month, we celebrate many achievements and contributions made by the Black Americans in Battle Creek, Michigan, to our economic, cultural, spiritual, and political development. And whereas President Biden stated in his Black History Month proclamation dated January 21st, 2023, countless Black Americans have demonstrated profound moral courage and resilience to help shape our nation for the better. Today, Black Americans lead industries and movements for change, serve our communities and our nation at every level, and advance every field across the board, including arts and science, business and law, health and education, and many more. In the face of the wounds and obstacles older than our nation itself, Black Americans can see in every part of our society today, strengthening and uplifting all of America. And whereas the observance of Black History Month calls our attention to the continued need to battle racism and build a society that lives up to its democratic ideals. And whereas the city of Battle Creek continues to work towards becoming an inclusive community in which all citizens and visitors, past and present and future, are respected, recognized for their contributions to our community, the country, and the world. And whereas the city of Battle Creek is proud to honor the history and the contributions of Black Americans in our community throughout our state and nation. Therefore, in recognition of Black Americans, past and present, in our community, I, the mayor of Battle Creek do hereby proclaim February 23, February 2023 as Black History Month in the greater Battle Creek area. And I urge all citizens and visitors to recognize and support the ideals of human dignity, equal opportunity, to which this nation is committed throughout the international community in which we celebrate during this month. Further, I urge all Americans to celebrate the rich history and numerous historical contributions of Black Americans in culture. Finally, I'd like to close with some of my remarks that I made um, to a Burmese uh, organization that took place on Wednesday night. I wanted to thank everyone for attending to stand with our Burmese neighbors in Battle Creek. It's significant to call this wonderful Burma Center space the gathering place, a place of support, peace, and community. I am honored to stand with our Burmese neighbors and others who are here today and out in our community who also support you. I hope you can feel the support and collaboration in Battle Creek as it is at home. I cannot fathom the pain you feel watching the unrest in your, and terror in your Minar home. I want, you, I want to thank you, our Burmese neighbors, for the many contributions that you make to our community. You are such valued neighbors simply by your presence. Your community advocacy, engagement, and education also are vital to making Battle Creek a more equitable and inclusive community for all our neighbors. Your culture enriches our community in wonderful ways. It is important we all continue to stand together in unity to voice our support for the people of Myanmar during this horrific time and to support the Burmese population altogether. The danger and fear continue and I want to join our neighbors in remembering and honoring the people whose lives were taken by the terrorist actions and by the military coup. I add my voice to those urging nationwide support of the revolution's efforts in Myanmar and to formally recognize the national unity government. The world should hold accountable those responsible for committing these horrific crimes against our fellow humans. Let us be an example of humanity, kindness, and support. We are here to listen to your concerns, fear, and outrage. We acknowledge your pain and the terrorist actions that continue in your home country today. I want to express my support to you and encourage the rest of the Battle Creek community to stand with you and support you in this continued frightening time. We are united with you as your neighbors, and we are here to help you feel strong. This is the Mayor of Battle Creek, Mark Banke. 
Thank you very much for listening and please have a great weekend.